where players in the tourism sector need reskilling, reinvention, and innovation to survive in the competitive industry. Tourism and Wildlife Cabinet Secretary Najib Balala insisting that technology will be key in rebuilding the tourism industry, as well as health and safety during this period, to boost numbers before a vaccine for COVID-19 is widely available. Faisal Ahmed has more on this. So tourism is just about having... Speaking virtually during the Tourism and Hospitality Professionals Roundtable and the launch of the Masters in Hospitality Business Management program at the Strathmore University, Balala said the adoption of technology will not only aid in advertising, marketing and exposure, but also attract not only international tourists, but locals as well. And then technology. You look at today, the hybrid uh, meeting today. Yeah, I am 500 kilometers away from you. You are there, everybody can participate, and this is being globally. Balala added that the use of sustainable natural resources like water, solar, and even wind power will also aid in promotion of tourism. The future of tourism also will be based on health. Before it was purely on security. Now it's health, number one. Number two is security. The sector has continued to face a bleak future in the face of the coronavirus pandemic. The ease of some restrictions locally has however seen domestic and some international tourists flock back into the sandy beaches. In Diani Kwale County, operators say that beds are already at 50% capacity. Unatarajia kwamba namba za wageni zitapanda juu kwa sababu wa Kenya wanatamani kuwa na wakati wa kupumzika, wakati wa kufurahi, wakati wa kuungana na familia zao katika fuo za bahari. Mwangombe said that they are already receiving bookings for December and New Year holidays, estimating that they will operate at between 70 to 80%. Faisal Ahmed Citizen TV, Nairobi.